So two, three, four, five. Probably gonna get this. Probably only at least gonna do two and three today. We'll see though. Be long episodes. <clears throat> Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you. We have to go. Could have saved him. How could you just leave him? Sorry about <clears throat> Pete. Whatever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. He got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. What do we do now? We're stuck here. We should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. But that rig ain't fit to piss in. that stuff. Let me see. Little chat. Yeah. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? 
Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. What's your problem? I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. He of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. This whole world is fucked. You're right. It's a nightmare. We live in a fucking nightmare. <clears throat> I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. It's gonna be your first and your last. <laughs> Peter Joseph Randall. The nicest mean old bastard I ever knew. <laughs> Listen. They're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. They're good people. Better than me. We can make it. We have to try. I don't have to do anything. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. <coughs> You're right. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, the cabin's only half a mile from here. We can't miss it. You ready? <clears throat> Fuck it. Oh, 
through here. Come on, you fucks. Look at me. Get the fuck out of here. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. <clears throat> My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Clem, you're scaring me. They're just fishing. I know that's not true. <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Nobody tells me anything. As long as you don't tell your dad. I won't, I promise. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, don't pull the trigger, squeeze it. Why? I don't know, you just do. Okay. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry sorry Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! A 
that's not Luke. Lem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Hello? Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. No, I guess not. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Of Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy, this big, and a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. That looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. It's a real nice place, kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well, White's in trouble. Three moves away from check. Uh, probably not. But was you might have to put a bit of strength or a bit of dexterity, but it's uh not good to have them both maxed up or try and both of them be too high. You said nobody's here. Either focus on the strength or the dexterity, yeah. Nobody is here. <clears throat> Rape rape here is the easiest weapon, yeah. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean 
to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Never seen her before. You have no idea who these people are, do you? They're my friends. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? He trusted me. He did, huh? <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. What's wrong with them not trusting people they just met? Are you fucking clown? Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? All right, woke up a little bit too late though. Okay, so started a bit late, but not too late. We but need to find the others. We can't go outside. Too late today. Clementine, Sarah, you were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door <laughs> for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. He told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound... Different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's a How nice does Sarah man, not remember which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? If you can't remember, they fucking happened. were there. For picture. how long? I don't what know. What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? <laughs> you need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. Maybe she didn't see his face, yeah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. 
but I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Just ignored her. Oh shit, this is where uh, Nick there. was. That's where we were. <clears throat> Door. 